Sponsorem programu jest Polskie Górnictwo Naftowe i Gazownictwo, dostawca gazu ziemnego i energii elektrycznej. Marit Mal, uh, Frafjord, what a boring game, another time Netherlands, Norway, the big final in December. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, we have played some finals now, but um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's so good to, uh, the semifinal yesterday was, uh, yeah, it was a tough match and uh, it's always, um, I always feel more nervous before a semifinal than a final because uh, then we have more to lose, I think. Uh, now we are, we have a medal anyway, uh, but we for sure want the gold medal. Yeah, because in Norwegian tradition you almost always take uh, gold medals. Uh, you are never happy with silver or bronze ones. Yes, we are. Uh, in the Olympics, I think it was, uh, of course, we were a bit disappointed after the semi-final, but the bronze in the Olympics is really good. So I think uh, sometimes uh, we are, of course, disappointed when we lose games, but, uh, but we also know uh, that we have to play good to take the gold medal. So. Uh, so, and I also think that um, maybe the people home in Norway or and the media, they think that we just go to the championships to get the goal home. But it's not, uh, it's hard work and and um, I think sometimes we, we are more satisfied than maybe the people back home. How do you see the changes in uh, women's handball? I mean, the new regulations, new rules, seven players playing without goalkeeper. Do you like it? How do you live it uh, as a field player? Uh, I think, uh, as a, I don't know if I, I haven't decided actually, uh, we play again a lot seven against six in Ladvik and that has been good, so, so uh, there I like, I like it, but um, it's, uh, also the rules are, are the rules, so I think it's uh, up to us to, um, to try to, uh, yeah, make it for um, for our advantage. Uh, use them when we think it's smart, and uh, and if we don't feel we need uh, to use it, then we play like we have uh, always done. So, yeah, it's. Um, I haven't decided <laughs> if I like it. <laughs> How is it possible to lose just 16 goals in the semi-final against France, one of the best team in the world, the vice champions uh, from Olympic Games in Rio? Yeah, uh, uh, matches against France is, uh, and uh, when when we play against France, it's always um, few goals. And yesterday we had Silje Sulberg in the goal, who were having 60%, I think, uh, saving percent. So that's uh, not only world class, but it's top, top, top world class. So uh, uh, I think that was the main reason. Uh, and we also have played um, good defense the whole championship, and we haven't let so many goals in. So. Um, yeah, it's a typical Norway-France match, I think. Few goals and uh, maybe the team who make, uh, uh, yeah, not so many mistakes is the team who win. I absolutely don't want to impose your answer, but uh, you have been playing with, uh, in the Danish league. You know also Helle Thompson, who was uh, FC Midtjylland coach for many years. Uh, would you say that after Marit Bravik, she's the best female coach in handball in last uh, years? Yeah, I think she has had a great result in FSM and uh, and with Sweden when she trained them for a short period and uh, now also Holland. But Holland has been good for some years uh, now. But uh, but she's uh, I haven't had her as a trainer myself. But she I think she is uh, she seems like a very good trainer. I think absolutely. So tomorrow the great game another time the Netherlands against uh, Norway. But you have experience from Herning. It it should be your advantage. Yeah, we have played uh, more finals than them, but uh, I think they also they have um, they have gotten more experience now because they have had they have been in top of uh, European and world handball for some years now. So, so uh, even if we maybe have a little bit more experience, they also have uh, have uh, played some uh, some finals. So uh, it will be a tougher match uh, tomorrow, I think, than it was last year, maybe. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sponsorem programu jest Polskie Górnictwo Naftowe i Gazownictwo, dostawca gazu ziemnego i energii elektrycznej.